Alright, what's up everybody? Um, we are here with the new hot Sunday Jam, Mass Effect. I've already streamed quite a bit of this, and by that I mean like... Three and a half, four hours. Um, I did some changes today. One that allowed me to now see chat on my PC, so I don't always have to look down at my phone, but I probably still will do that because I'm an idiot. Um, and then I turned off the film grain, which in my opinion <clears throat> is a is a large part, almost said massive, which would have been stupid. It's a large part of Mass Effect, um, and I've always played through it that way, but it extra fucks up the compression. Like, compression from putting these Twitch videos to YouTube already is horrendous, and they end up looking like just total dog shit. But with the film grain, it was extra, extra crazy. So I'm gonna see if it, fix it fixes some of that. Like, it'll still look not that great on YouTube, but it will at least be better. Anyways, it also may have just been in the initial rendering process it was fucking it up because it thinks it's like a billion different little particles. So, there's that. But, we are now ready to go and explore the galaxy. So we gotta, we gotta get exploring. Who's ready to see me get pissed off at the Mako? Uh, alright, Citadel, we gotta zoom out some more. This cursor is moving at an alarming rate. Oops. Apparently if you zoom out too far... You don't get to see anything. Let's just go to... Wait, Asteroid. This might be the first DLC. I won't do that right now. I have not done any of the Mass Effect 1 DLC. I've just seen it. I believe they said that she was in Gnosis, where Liara is. We'll find out. We'll go to the journal. Normandy's such a sick ship, it's so cool. I think she's on Therum. And by the Alliance, fossils. Whatever, let's see. Bring in Jaboy's Garrison Rex. Here we go. <clears throat> the moment that everyone's been waiting for. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. Okay. So this is Liara's thing. This is where she is. Um... So those are our three main ascent things. All right, and then maybe after we get Liara, we'll go do some side quests. Or we'll just look at other planets. All right, so this is awful. This is off. So people claim that the driving of the Mako is what's awful. I don't mind that. I think that the driving is fine. I think it is the part where... The gun sucks, and you can kill enemies easier if you get out. But on most planets, getting out causes you to take constant damage. You can jump, and you can shoot, and I think... Yeah, R1 is the... On a cooldown that I apparently can't see. Uh, 
And so what's fucking annoying is all of the Omni Gel you have is right there. It's 46. I believe it caps out at 99 that you can bring with you at one time. But anyway, we have 46. What ends up fucking happening is you will take forever to kill these small ass enemies, like just like a tiny geth person. And you'll get damaged and the shield takes forever to come back up. But if you take hull damage, in my experience, you are supposed to push Y to heal it with Omni Gel. But during that time, you cannot move. And if you get hit during it, it still eats the Omni Gel and makes you wait, but you never actually get healed. In every case, when I ever tried to heal the Mako in my last playthrough of this game, it did not heal, and it was just a waste of Metagel. So what I ended up doing for most of it was just blowing past... Uh, blowing past all encounters, if it was possible. And I would always make sure to save very often... But we'll find out here, because I saved right at the beginning, so it's not that far a drive. And you gotta look at the map, because, like, there's no friggin' mini-map, and you don't know what the hell's going on, and it's just... Look at look at this! Why is this... What what good does this do anyone? What is this path? What's up, Roadman Tyler? Bouncing around. Freaking Mako, dude. We're in there. Like, was this necessary? I mean, I guess we're really getting the ambiance of the planet. That sure is a Geth dropship. Now there's Geth. That are somehow shooting me from over there. Oh, they're armatures. Can't really tell if we're shooting them. God, the sensitivity on the controller movement is so crazy because it's reading it as a mouse. All right, 96 times two. Clear. For me, it's like 3 p.m. But yeah, in Europe, I guess technically it would always be really late. But I'm glad you could make it to a stream. Okay. We're gonna save, because somehow I did that without getting hit, and that was almost 200 experience. Only a fool punches a Nathak in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Okay. Maybe this is going to be easier on PC. Sneak around. Oh, I see. We just got ass blasted. Okay, maybe if we had to back up, that's not a good thing. Oh, God. The control. Oh, my God. Here I was talking about how I don't think it's that bad to control. And we're fucking right here. Is there a way to turn down the mouse sensitivity? This shit's crazy. Nope, still just as buck wild. Expert maneuvers. Alright. I'm becoming a pro. 
Holy sweet god, the Mako. Turn around, dog. Uh, I'm so glad this was removed from Mass Effect 2. That is correct. It would not let you type which one. Because it was becoming so obnoxious in chat that I had to ban it as a word. I do. I'm glad you're enjoying the older streams, though. Oh, shit. Nice. Well, I'm glad you're liking the Persona streams. Uh, my... My newest video of Persona has me getting massively frustrated, which people seem to enjoy the most. See, why do you have... Why is there stamina, man? Enemies are shooting me. Yeah, I know all about it. Game. Oh. Okay, this is going a lot better than any other time I ever tried to use the Mako. What the fuck is shooting me? Like, what is this? General. Are there geth in here? Is that what's happening? They're not in here. Uh, I will not be playing the next ones in the... I won't be playing Persona 3 and 4. Um... And that is because I beat 5. The real reason that I am doing 3 is because I never beat it before. I had to quit because I I basically played the game in such a way that at the end I could not beat it. And so I'm just trying to beat it that way. All targets down. I was gonna stream 5 when it came out, but then Atlas put out their weird streaming things, their rules about how you weren't allowed to stream it. Oh, this shit's killing me, dude. Okay. Save every second. Oops, didn't mean that.
Damn, evasive maneuvers? Um, I'm excited for Persona 5 The Royal. Um, as well, hopefully at the end of the month they give a lot more information on that, like when it's coming out and that kind of thing. Um, I thought about just streaming that when it comes out to make up for when I wanted to stream it last time, but I think I actually ended up enjoying Persona 5 more because I did not stream it. So, I'll have to think about that when the time comes. Yeah, the mouse sensitivity definitely did not change. Unless I accidentally didn't save it somehow. Like, did it actually not change? Oh, uh, yeah, I have played other level 5 games. Um... Yokai Watch 3 came out in the US uh, way after it did in Europe, so just like a month ago. Um, and I played Yokai Watch 3 for like a quadrillion hours. And I'm thinking about going back to it again for some of the post game stuff just because I enjoyed it so much. Uh, and yeah, I. The latent games are kind of weird because like I. Jesus Christ. Fucked up. Nope. Holy fuck. Now the Mako's gonna die. So I've, I've played Yokai Watch 1, 2, and 3, uh, 2 and 3 for many hours, um, but Layton is weird because I, hmm, I don't know, the first one I ever played, which is like the, the one with the weird like Loch Ness monster thing, I enjoyed and I played to completion, but then it was the next one that I played, the Miracle Mask. And at a certain point, I was just sick of doing the puzzles and wanted to see where the plot was going, so I never ended up finishing that one. So the late, the latent games don't really do it for me as much, uh, but most level 5 games I like. I mean, I played Dark Cloud 1 and 2 when they first came out on PS2 uh, and really liked those. I tried White Knight Chronicles, which was not exactly my favorite level 5 game. I really like the original Nino Kuni. I hated Nino Kuni 2. Um, they helped make Dragon Quest 8, which is in my opinion one of the best Dragon Quest games. I just like level 5 work in general. Um, so I hope, I hope that um, their future games end up coming out and being pretty cool. I mean, Yokai Watch 3 was awesome. Yokai Watch 4 is looking pretty sick too so I have faith yeah they they released a, a few of the latent games on mobile like they also have the uh, the one with his daughter how is this not the end of this Like a second map we're entering. Sorry for all the saving. When the Mako, this is gonna be obnoxious. What's up, Drago? Motherfucker. Okay. Just get out. Get out. 
The Mako can't take it. We're stronger than the Mako. Fuck him up, Garrus. Area secured. Get in the vehicle. Oh my dear God, the Mako! That's what you're gonna hear me say every time we have to get in the Mako. Thank God. Get out. We in there. Like, I love, I love Mass Effect 1 for what it's set up, but boy, it was really just like... Bioware trying to transition from straight RPG Bioware to action game Bioware. And the transition is not smooth but it's still made for an excellent product at the time. It's just especially now, the age is rough. Uh, I am very rarely in the Discord, but sometimes I pop in. Thank you for joining it. Night Baroonies, god damn it. Yeah, dude, Anthem is rough. I but Mass Effect is definitely one of contact. my favorite franchises ever. No way. That was not the last time I saved. Yeah, what? Just fucking get out of the Mako. Alright, hey, pro tip. If you're playing a game like this, don't get sniped. It's a solid tip we can all really approve of. All targets down. Also, remember that the checkpointing in this game is from 2007, so I actually do have to save every 30 seconds. But no, it's wild. Like the you you're playing Mass Effect One, and you're like, oh, I I see where a lot of this is going, and in the future it will be way better. And I, as much as I like to dumpster all over EA for what they have made Bioware do, they gave them a lot of money to make Mass Effect Two, and it shows. Like the just the gameplay is so improved. The plot, there's so much going on. And I know a lot of people, uh, it's kind of strange. There are people who are way into Mass Effect 1, but not 2 and 3. And it is because they enjoyed the weird kind of jank and more RPG exploration elements of it. Whereas, I think the exploration parts of Mass Effect 1 are cool, but they are not the best. Like, I hate all of these Mako sequences, right? And sometimes it just feels more like... Oh my god, what the fuck? Get down, girl. It feels like they're in there for padding, as opposed to actual exploration. Oh my god, the sway on this fucking sniper. Pardon my languages. Here's blow up this Geth man. Oh my god. All right, who wants to see me miss with a sniper 17 times? Garrus, if you don't have your fucking sniper rifle out.
Is Shepard wasted? Oh my god. Where's the other one? Perimeter secure. Perimeter secure. Save that. Oh yeah, Mass Effect 2 as like a the combat game feels so much better. The speed at which you can fucking run out of combat is absurd. Although I am fatigued now, I guess, because I r was running into combat. <laughs> yeah, that's so bizarre. The sensitivity doesn't get changed at all because of the controller mod I'm using. Where the hell are the other ones, huh? Alright, squad. Four point. Damn, we leveled up twice. Be too good. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I know it seems dumb, but I'm going for that. All right, we got to be able to increase the accuracy by 10%, sure. Oh, I forgot. We got to level up Ja Boys. All right, next. How oh, do you got cracking, my dude? You need some shotguns. I would like for you to be able to use heavy armor, but warp and barrier are pretty sick. I'm just going to use Krogan Battlemaster for now. Oh my god, I didn't do Garrus. Yeah, man. I expect you to be the best in the world. So. Get it done. And see, the way I like them. a lot of people leave them on auto level up in this game. It matters a lot more for you to level them up in the first one because there eventually are crates that you can't get into without good uh, skills. And since I picked a soldier, I can't get those skills, so I have to rely on Garrus and Tali for those skills. Which is, like, kind of cool. Kind of also a huge pain in the ass. Give and take. And, th like, this being more of an RPG than the other ones, it also... There's just way more going on in the skill tree. Uh, who's ready for the gelf? The, the gelf. The stealth geth. Colossus. Man, Anthem bums me out, though, because it could be so cool. And then you like read the articles about like what the fuck happened, and it's so it's so depressing. All right. Oh my god, I forgot they have global cooldowns. I should have gotten the mod to remove global cooldowns. Sweet God. Boss fights, baby. <laughs> oh, damn, Rex. Are you okay, boy? Get up. Oh, my God. I don't even have recovery. I don't have unity to revive my boy. Garrus, you better kill that other one. He did. But there's still another one. Oh my god. Good shit, Garrus. Snipped them both? Snippity snip. No? No one wants to chat? Alright. How close are we? <clears throat> 400 experience? Hmm. Oh, 
Liara. This is a lot easier than it was the last time I played it. The leveling up on the Citadel doing the side quests. Top notch. Do me like that game with no cover? Dang. We are getting a massive amount of experience that we should not be getting, I feel like. I hope that the controller mod for Mass Effect 2 is better when we get there. Because while I do like the sick texture mods and how good this looks, I don't know that sacrificing the control is worth it. You know what's crazy? This is even running better now that I turned off the film grain. I smell trouble. What the fuck? Locked. Rex knows carnage. Dude, the elevator loading screens are the best. What I like about it is that in this PC version, they are artificial. Protheans sure build things homey. Yeah. I should have downloaded the fast elevator mod, man. Too late now. Her voice does not sound correct here. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. This is not her voice. I guarantee you that when we get her out of here, she will have her normal voice. I wonder if they recorded this before they cast Liara's voice actress. Liara to Sony, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this that's already a different person. A Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I can, because I've killed a billion defenses. of them. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please! We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Okie dokie. Let's go. If I remember this correctly, there's like a mining laser that we have to point at them or something. Oh, what the hell is bioticing me? Not be this guy. He can't use biotics. Garrus, get your shit together. Why don't you have health regen? Clear of enemies. And why did it tell me combat was over? I'm a little busy here. God. 
It's just every time I go into cover, it becomes so painfully obvious that this came out before Gears of War. Ugh. Shit is rough. Alright, we need one more so we can get Unity and actually res people. Shotgun, advanced carnage, my dude. Uh, oh my god, this unlocks fitness. Oh. Rex is like invincible by the end of this game with his health regen and the amount of health bonuses that he gets. It's stupid. I also had equipment. Oh my god, there's too much inventory management in this product. Sure. I'm never going to use a shotgun, but sure. Those are all the same. Okay, those are all terrible. Can I just turn this into Omnigel? Yo, I really got a fucking... Oh my god. 2007. Cool, cool. We're not going to use that. Is it better for you, dude? It is. Oh, yeah. You need the shotgun. You need the pistol. You're never going to use a fucking sniper rifle. Uh... Everybody loves menus. It's actually way better. Okay, but then, what if we were upgrading you? Nope, oh, don't want any of that. 10% heat absorption. 12% heat absorption. Chemical rounds. We've broken the game. Man, chemical rounds are so sick. It's ridiculous. Who the fuck needs rate of fire? I just want... Sure. Because you're going to be using the snip. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you definitely need the heat sink. The shotguns like overheat after two shots most of the time. It's really annoying. I don't want to do. Th oh God. Yeah, lessen your cooldowns because I'm gonna have you use Carnage That's all day, every attack. day, because it's disgusting. No sense standing around. I'm not talking to you, you clown. 
Holy fuck, what are you talking about? Okay, well, I'm gonna have to find the... I... Should I just trial and error it? I can. There's gotta be a pickup back here. In the storage tents. Ooh, there's all kinds of decryption. I should have fucking waited to do the weapon stuff. Oh. What? I was not given the code? <sniffs> Trial and error it is. Was there something over here? Eh, yeah, okay. There's no way that's the way you're supposed to solve that, but that's what I did. Okay. How did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. That's true. Why solve a puzzle when I can force it? Also, I'm baffled. That first line of dialogue of hers is not the same voice actress. That's insane. That sounds nothing like her. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. That's a button. Uh. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. Come on. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know... What the hell was that? <laughs> These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. I love me a good we seismic event. The whole place is caving in. Joker! Get the norm of the airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. I don't know that. If I die in here, I'll kill him. I love Rex. Interesting that I can't move around. I guess this is an elevator. ready. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. 
In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. Mm, I feel like it would matter greatly to Saren, but, you know, who am I? I don't work for him, so I don't know. Yo, Rex, get behind cover, you fucking jabroni. Oh, my. Garrus, we don't have unity, dog. How am I... Oh. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I better start from the beginning of that combat scenario. I have to go up that elevator. I, I okay. still cannot believe all this. Saren's looking I for do. the conduit. Yeah. The conduit. What the hell was that? The hell was that? Prothean Joker. experts. Joker. If I die in here. Do it. Can't save on the elevator. We gotta watch this if I die again. It, man. Come on. Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. In case you didn't know. Thanks for getting. Whatever it is you. Yep. Kill them. Now, Shepard. There's another one. See what I'm talking? Toxic rounds are fucking stupid. Oh God. Rex, shoot his face in! I'm overheated! That was much louder than every other sound in the fucking game. Good job, Mass Effect, blowing out everyone's speakers. What the hell is that? And imagine... Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our senses imagine. and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes. Imagine what that would have been like if the sound was not like lowered as much as I had lowered it. I have all the sounds below 50%. Imagine if that was at 100%. That would have like blown us all up. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. <sighs> Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. 
A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy That's is what I usually say when I'm wrong. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. So I don't know why Saren you? wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the north. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? Don't eat shit. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. The council sucks. Achievo, dang. Alright, well. Let's, uh. 
chat it up with the crew. Let's take bets on whether or not Tali's eyes are still fucked up. I bet that they'll be fucked up the whole game. And I'm looking forward to it. Commander, do you have a minute? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction, but we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. The sound mixing in this game is bizarre, because in that last scene, everyone was talking normally, but now, Caden is talking very lowly, because there is the sound of the engine in the background. And I don't... like, what? The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves or, you know, for justice. Now, maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Is there some question about how you were exposed? My mother was downwind of a transport crash. It was before there were human biotics, a little after the discovery of the Martian ruins. It only gets iffy around 63 when Kinetics was running out of first-gen subjects. Until then, they'd relied on accidentals. A bunch of guys in suits show up at your door after school, and next thing you know, you're out on Jump Zero. Jump Zero is Gagarin Station, right? What's it like? Yeah, that's the official name. Biggest and farthest facility we had for decades. Right on the termination shock, the outer edge of the solar system. It's where they did all the goose chase FTL research before we caught on to using mass effect fields. It was a sterile research platform when I was there. There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah. We'd sit around in Bull every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich. But she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Ma'am. Jeez. Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Sorry, Caden, we're not... Maybe she felt this is same. not happening. But things never felt together. Training, you know. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, 
This was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh, make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? No, just you. Of course. But I don't enjoy it with everyone. We'll talk again later. I'll, uh... I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. I just wanted to be like, nah, dog. I know you think that I'm hitting on you, but I'm just here for the experience points. 